Howdy. So, it's Friday, and we got a PC and a new game. So we decided to put some stuff together, put some duct tape together, and play Resident Evil 2. All right, you guys are gonna let me know with the audio because I got I did some tweaking. Make sure you can hear my voice. Make sure the game audio is good because I know we got some spooky stuff going on right now. Why not Anthem? I'll let you figure that out. Plus, I wanted to play Resident Evil 2, so sorry about that. It's starting right now. So, hello everyone. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. I please do not keep playing. I'm so scared. Well, this is gonna be a scary stream. So, we're playing with Claire as the first character. But I also want to touch on some stuff happening with us over here at Origin PC. But I really wanted to get the audio stuff out of the way first. So please let me know if the audio is good. Let me do a quick rock walk around here. We good? Maybe? What is my name? My name is Lewis. I am the content specialist at Origin PC. And today's content is Resident Evil 2 with Claire. Okay, everything, everyone's saying that the audio is good. Yes, we are playing on PC and actually, stop. No more spooky music. We got some, uh, some specs to go over. So we are currently playing, actually let's go over the graphic settings because I know everyone wants to see the graphics. So we're not playing on the console version. You know for a fact that we're not playing on the console version because you can see here, we have the graphical options for Resident Evil 2. I like going over the graphical options in PC games because it shows you, you know, what's happening over here. So we're playing full screen 1080p at normal rendering because there's two different types of rendering. There is interlace and then normal, but we prefer to go with normal. Image quality, we're going with 150. I did 200% and got a little bit of issues there because the game tells you sometimes bugs happen when you push everything to the max. Um, hold on. Um, we got the refresh rates, frame rates variable, but actually let me put that at, uh, let's see, variable. All right, so it'll go up in, to 60. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. RTX on, there's no RTX for Resident Evil 2. Uh, we are playing on a 1080 Ti, so that's the GP we're currently playing on. G-Sync on, oh, I don't like G-Sync. I'm not playing on a G-Sync monitor, so there you go. Actually, no, I'll leave it on mainly for, um, to reduce tearing on the stream. Anti-aliens, FXAA and plus TAA, texture quality, three gigabytes and high. Actually, if you notice here, uh, we were messing around with the settings earlier and the graphics memory has been colored orange. Uh, do, 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 high, oof. And eight gigabytes, but we're gonna stick to the three. Yeah. Texture filter quality is it Anaiso X16. See that that mesh quality at max, shadow quality at max, shadow cache on. Blah, blah, blah. So many settings here. Uh, shout out to Capcom for putting out so many settings for this game. Um, trying to think of other games that have had this many settings on the fidelity. I was watching the first, um, we're doing the first portion of the game, and oof, it's pretty detailed. So can't wait to show you guys. Just want to do some quick housekeeping here. Playing RTX, we are playing on a GTX 1080 Ti. And if you guys have questions or you want me to do anything specific on the game, just let me know. I am playing the deluxe edition of the game. Um, so there are some costumes I have, but I'll play with the default uh, costumes. I can see the Twitch chat, YouTube chat, and Mixer chat. So for those of you on those three platforms, I can see you guys. Facebook and Twitter, unfortunately, I cannot see you guys. You're just going to watch silently. Unless you get, jump to one of those platforms and send me a message. Um, I see a lot of people asking about where is my PC. Well, I want a PC too, so get in line. Nin, that's correct. I'm wearing my good old Nine Inch Nails shirt today. I wore this on a previous stream, actually. I to wear it today. Anthem is having a lot of server issues right now. I saw that. Hopefully they can get that fixed. Anyways, no more specs or showing off all the cool uh, graphical options the game has. I'm pretty sure um, YouTubers are going to do a deep dive on how the game looks in different settings. Here's how to see this would look on the lower end and also on, you know, pushing everything to the max. Evil Merc, how you doing? <laughs> Give me a shout out. I know you mean Evil Merc, cool. 
Anyways, hello everyone. We're gonna be playing some Resident Evil, but before, let me go back here. Controls, all right, we'll stay here. We'll jump over to what's happening with Origin. So, I know that you guys are wondering, but it's official. The PewDiePie Neuron giveaway winner is officially LOL 767. We announced them a couple weeks ago, but of course it's not just, you know, contacting him. We have to do a bunch of paperwork behind the scenes and that takes time, but we officially confirmed them. So congratulations, LOL 767. We will be doing more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned to that. On our side, we are running the January Prom, which only has a couple days to go. If you want $100 off all desktops, then I guess January is your point right here. And also free US ground shipping, a whole bunch of free, not well, free, but digital copies of games, free digital Steam key for scum, Star Trek, and lots of cool stuff happening at originpc.com. Uh, let's talk about our laptops, because we're, we're just talking about desktops. Um, so we got three new laptops, the Evo 16S, the Evo 17S, and the Eon 17X, and all of them have next generation graphics with 144 hertz displays. I haven't seen them in person. I really should track down our laptop steam and see how those look in person because keep saying or keep people people keep telling me that 144 hertz is just, you know, you can't go back to 60 hertz. I'm currently playing Resident Evil at 60 hertz. So I'm kinda I kinda wanna see what that is. What's that what's that what's that what is that all about? I don't know. For those of you in chat, please tell me why 144 hertz is amazing. Please do tell. Uh, let's see, I got, we've got a couple questions over here from chat. What PC would you recommend for Overwatch? Well, if you look at the recommended specs, that's probably the best way to start, and then go from there. Blizzard has the specs, I believe, on their site, but if you want, it, again, it also depends on what resolution, and uh, if you want to play at 144 hertz, I keep talking about that, 144, but a lot of people really swear by that, so there you go. On our promo side, we were just talking about the promos. Um, if you get an AMD Ryzen CPU, you get a copy of The Division 2 at launch. So that's pretty cool. And as for the live build, we actually did one last Wednesday for Burke, Burke Black. Pretty cool. You can watch that on YouTube. And this following Wednesday, we are have a live build for, not that. Nope. Where did it go? There we go. Tally. So. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tally will be joining us for a special live build for the man himself. So tune in for that if you want to see another live build. But today, we are doing, or we're going to play, Resident Evil 2. So, uh, if you got any questions about the game, if you want to see me do stuff, I'm just going to be playing the game. Uh, we did some testing. We wanted to play in the dark initially, but little little things we got to work out for... Darkness streams are spooky speaks. Bro, just start. Come on, I don't want to start. Streaming. All right, so again, this is the start of the game. Killed a zombie, or so I think. All right. There we go. Over here. Nope. Bad idea. So we're in a gas station locker. Not locker, the back. We in the back, just chilling. It's 1998. Just a reminder for those of you that are unfamiliar with Resident Evil 2. The game takes place in 1998. Fun facts. Fun facts. So I got the key. Uh, let's get out of here. Get out of here. So. Get that key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's keep moving. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, I've actually played previous Resident Evil games. So I got a little experience running through this stuff. Actually, just last night, I was watching a Resident Evil 4 uh, no, Don't shoot. Get down! It's Leon! We gotta get out of here. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. How many Resident Evils have you played? 
four, five, six, grudgingly, seven. Uh, one remake, so my back dog play that. Now from two. And not play three, that's not right now. I also played um Revolution. Get away the police vehicle and go to the place where they're coming from. Good idea. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? He's Claire. so young. Clear Redfield. Live around here? Game's starting to drown no. me out. I'm looking All for right. my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Thank you for calling that out. Just a little tweak on the fly. Why is it called Resident Evil? Is there some guy living somewhere who is evil? Good question. Was this released today? It was. And on PC. If it wasn't released on PC, unless I'd be doing like a Red Dead stream like I did last time. This intro reminds me of like a Netflix show. I don't know. It reminds me of uh, like those flashy intros they do on Netflix. Have you played this game? I have not. I played the demo. So I'm a little bit familiar. I've played Resident Evil 4. So. In, its name in Japan is Biohazard. That's correct. Biohazard 2. Yeah, it's definitely a very good graphical showcase. And as I went over in the beginning of the stream, there's a whole bunch of graphical options you can tweak. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. And again, this is a remake of the second game. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. survivors big city nice are you getting royalties nope just doing this for fun showing off the pc gameplay looks like we're walking from here looks marginally better than minecraft Just an FYI, this game is ready to end. It's the Resident Evil truck that's coming to get you. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Turn the game volume up. I got you. I think that should be the sweet spot. Let me know. Ooh. Leon, where are you? There he is. Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? I can't stay here. It's not safe. Oh shit. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. Yep, I can't fight that. Just 
so much yelling. The way to get zombie attention. Gotta keep yep. moving. How much ammo? One bullet. Yeah, that's not gonna last. I'm gonna hold on to that one bullet. Alright. Did I go the right way? Like the end of the world. Mm, okay, not you. Yeah, this is a huge upgrade from the original game, which was originally released on the PlayStation 1. The police station. Almost there. So that was released in 1998. This is released in 2019. You, see, you can see in the title. Not <laughs> nope. Juke. Here, there. It actually doesn't matter if you yell. The zombies airpods in and they can't hear you. Speaking of zombies, hello fools. You cannot get to me. I'm behind the barricade. Good luck. Alright. So, first part of Resident Evil 2 is the police station. For those of you that have not played, and that's what we're playing today. And we're playing with Claire. Explore your surroundings. Alright. How do you deal with the trolls? Good Anybody question. here? How do I deal with the trolls? Eh. Alright. So, we need to reorganize here. Drag, drop. Oh, I like the system. Okay, cool. Save the game. We are playing on standard difficulty, so I don't need ink ribbons to progress. Because if you play on the hardcore difficulty, you need ink ribbons. So, for those of you unfamiliar with that system, it means that Instead of the ammo box there, there would have been an ink ribbon. And in order to save the game, you need an ink ribbon to use with the typewriter. So that means you only get a certain amount of saves in the game. Now, smart players, what they do is they just collect a bunch of ink ribbons and they store them in the inventory box, which is right here. Cool game. Are you guys giving away keys? Not today. Wish we had some. But we don't. Just trust me. I w we would have been like, there we would be like, hey. Free keys, but we don't today. This is just for fun. To show off the game on an extremely high setting. On 1080p. That's we're streaming on. Uh, okay, so I did get the deluxe version of the game. So I have access to the Samurai Edge from Albert Wesker. And I did pre-order it, so I got Chris and Jill too. But we're going to use the revolver. No fancy guns here today. And we'll use this laptop from 1998. Nice screen. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David, Margaret, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Ah. I do like the UI. That Windows 98? I should help this guy. Maybe. Windows XP? No, bro. That's 98. It's gotta be 98. The view map. So that's M. Anything used as a map. So in this game, actually, you can actually see a detailed map, and it tells you where you need to go. And this is the police station. So even actually, if you go past an item that you can't access. So let's say you found something like in a locker. The game actually marks it on the map for you. So you don't forget. So let's say there's like a shotgun or something. And like, oh, I can't get that shotgun yet. It'll really be marked on the map so you can come back to it later. So uh, I'm going to go pick up some ammo here. I did do the demo. So I'm a little familiar with this part of the game. A little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to dilly dally. Let's get to see how fast we can go here. Although I am not a speedrunner, I'm going to try to through some of the stuff I've seen before quickly. Pop, pop. Some oh, I got six rounds. Let's reload. Well, Claire uses a revolver unlike Leon's handgun. So I'll combine my ammo packs. There we go. And again, if you guys want to see something specific in the game, please let me know. I will do my best to 
get to a thing or show you something that you want to see in the game. That's what I'm here for. And again, this is the PC version, so if you want me to go back to the graphical settings again, feel free to let me know. I'll do probably do that every once in a while if someone asks. So I got my ammo. I think I'm good. The angle and camera up. Oh, that's it. That's the way it works. Over the sh over the shoulder, just like Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. Not 7. 7 was in first person. I did like Resident Evil 7 a lot. Um, it's pretty intense, especially going from the third to the first person. So, let's go investigate the messy. Uh, I believe this is the east wing of the police station. Where are you? So it's dark, real dark. How much was this PC and what are the specs? I don't have the cost in front of me, but I do know, actually. Player chill for one second. Actually, let me do a quick investigation here. I know it's a 1080 Ti. Let me confirm the CPU for you guys. Give me one second. One second, please. Mm -hmm. We'll play the tally thing. So again, tally, we're doing a live build for him on Wednesday. Um, you want to come check that out? So we got a lot of cool live builds happening besides tallies, but if you want to tune into that one, that is 2 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So just do your new uh, clock calculations to figure that one out. And the CPU is an i9-7900X CPU. That is the CPU running. So hold on, let me jump over here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So these are specs on our computer. Uh, there's the i9, a 10 cores. That's a lot of cores. Uh, components, display, where's my display? Do, 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 gosh. Inputs, no. Display, I'm blind. 1080 Ti, there you go. That's what we're playing on. Uh, again, very, very good GPU. Not a 20 series, but we're playing on one of the best still out there. All right, back to the game. Low game. All right, cool. Hopefully that answered your questions. One day, can you showcase your laptops? It's a good idea. Definitely want to do that for a stream for sure, because I was actually just writing about how awesome our laptops are performance-wise. Because, as you know, we have laptops with next-generation graphics. Uh, if you want more details, you can go and find that at originpc.com. Showed you the specs, and this is how it looks with those specs. I do like the details they put into uh, the environment here, because this is the police station, so there's missing people. I believe someone noted actually the writing on the the wall is actually a uh, they use the at, reuse the asset from uh, Resident Evil Seven. Um, it's a nice little yeah, what should we call it Easter egg there because it uses the same engine as Resident Evil Seven. It's really really like they do a really good job at creating photorealistic environments in that one and in this one too. Focus, Claire. Focus. That's right, you focus. Find your happy place. Find your happy place. Now you can sprint. Turn on the lights. See, everything's better with the lights on, huh? All right, what do you got? Ammo. Ammo's always good in these games. If I remember in Resident Evil 7, um, ammo was super sparing, or it, like they barely gave you an ammo in the beginning of the game. But once you got to like the second act, especially with the bugs, they handed you a bunch of ammo. Understandably, because those bugs were uh, not my kind of type. Well done. Never played Resident Evil. Looks a lot like Fortnite. Well, this is the over the shoulder camera. Um, but it's a lot slower than Fortnite. I mean, Fortnite does have the PvE mode, but that's not really a spooky thing. It's more of a co-op action thing. Of course, Battle Royale, not even close. Um, and there were actually, oh, there's stuff here? Oh, is that first aid spray? Aha! I missed that in the demo. Take that. Probably stuff some stuff in the inventory too. Like that key, I don't need that key in That was from the gas station. See ya. 
Yeah, that's right. Our live bills on Wednesday. Oh. So oh tune God. in on that. You won't be seeing gameplay on Wednesday. You'll be seeing a cool Hurry. computer being built. Uh oh. Someone needs help. Now, if you're squeamish, I advise you to look away. Open the door. Hurry up. Hurry up. Open it. Larry, give me your hand. Help me. Hold on. Give me your, give me your other hand. Again, not a panic on the screen. Officer's Notebook. Hey, look at the map. You have three medallions. You unlock an underground corridor, which takes you to a question mark, to parking, and then a way out. Good call. And of course, there's where all the medallions are, I believe. And they also have symbols on there, too. Cool. I guess those are hints, so we gotta use the book later. Alright. Uh oh. So, in Resident Evil, sometimes a smart strat is to shoot and run. Um, I've done that typically in the early parts of the game, just to conserve ammo. Because you have a lot of rounds, but I just want to try to get through this area. If I need to kill people, I'll kill them. These two guys are over here. One thing is the benefit is the zombies are pretty slow. Those people are still coming for me over there. Anyone over here? No. I think, yeah, you have something for me. You stay back. The hell is up with you? <laughs> what kind of zombies just tank headshots? Apparently, these guys for sure. This guy? Oh, hey, come on, buddy. Damn it! Alright. And you're really confusing. Fuck? Again, that mouse and keyboard aiming. I don't know how you do that on a controller. I'm pretty sure you could. I think there's aim assist on controller too, on the console version. So, anyways, I know there's some ammo here. There's a board. Those boards. There. Ammo. Oh, I need some fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to heal. I'm good. Okay. So in this game, in Resident Evil 2, there weren't, or the original version, there weren't boards, if I'm correct. Um, they gave you boards, you can board up uh, places that were broken by zombies. So right over here, if you board it up, zombies will no longer enter this area. Cool, see? A zombie just wanted to hug me. Of course, of course. I like the guy that I shot is still in the middle. You can't get out of there, buddy. You're stuck. All right. I don't have another zombie coming along. You. Where are you? Actually, I never even tried to open these doors. They're locked. Can I shoot the lock off? No, I don't want to say anything. All right. Let's go down. I know we got a zombie waiting down the hall. I think. Yep. There you are. All right. Let the pile of documents hold you back. Stop pointing at me, that's rude. This guy's taking a bunch of hits. There's someone else. Oh, there's one. Over there. I think these guys just keep coming back to life. I remember these guys. Look, you, you can see their oh, head wounds no. too. These are the same ones. Alright, I'm done with you guys. I'm wasting too much ammo. Can you give me a PC? I want a PC. Give me a PC, not you. All right, Claire, get out of there. Oof. You all right? Yeah. You're safe. 
Oh, hey. What's up, son, man? I know our team uh, saw you over at uh, PAX. PAX South and just passed. What's up? Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. Am I enjoying RE? Uh, so really cool. This? Uh, I really like the graphical options on PC. And of course, the mouse and keyboard's There's nice too. Theories. But I like it. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? Well, that's, that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret oh, man. passageway. <laughs> no voice. Yeah, those two do that to you. Hey. Uh, hey. We should probably get you to a hospital. Uh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... And be careful. If you see one of those things. No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. Two strats. <laughs> True words have never been spoken in Resident Evil games. Combat knife. Very useful, but in this game, it's different from the previous games. See, in Resident Evil 7, I really abused the, the knife a whole bunch, especially in the bug area. But in this game, the knife actually has a certain amount of um, durability. And you can also use it to stop zombies from grabbing you. And it's also an inventory item, too, unlike in the previous game. Or at least 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we'll leave Marvin here to his wounds and his computer from 1998 when I need to do some cleaning up. So again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. If you guys want to see anything specific, just let me know. Are you too new or the remake? This is new. Well, tech, well, remake. Hey, trick question there, Victor. Trick question. It just came out today. Key. A well-worn key. Yeah, I don't need that key anymore. Uh, ammo, gun. First aid, yes, I'll need that. Combat knife, I'll need that too. All right, cool. So I got combat knife, which means I'm not gonna save. Who needs to save? Set, I, famous last words. I just talked myself out of it. I'm saving. I missed that first aid in the first go round. Can I store it too? Oh, you can only store one. Okay, hold on. I'm, I don't need to. I'm gonna store that in the inventory. This first aid does not bring me joy. I need to store it and put it away. That one does because that won't save my life. Brand new game remake or old? This is a remake of Resident Evil 2 that was released in 1998 on the PlayStation. Also released on the Dreamcast, I believe, and the Nintendo 64. Um, but this is the full-on remake. So they did some tweaks to the game, so it's not quite the same. As you notice, the um, you move in third person compared to the special uh, fixed camera positions in uh, the original Resident Evil 2. So this plays more like Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 than uh, the original with the tank control. All right, let's open a new area. Thanks to the comments. If you don't need the key, can you give it to me? Not that key. Yankees, I bought this one. Sorry.
Good old green herb. You gotta find a red herb. So for those of you unfamiliar with the herb system, in Resident Evil, health is a little weird. There's first aid sprays, which I believe heal you to the max. Let's see how that says I'm correct. Yeah, a healing spray that will restore you to full health. A green herb will heal you a small amount. And if you combine it with other herbs, you can increase your health or max out your health, just like the first aid spray. How does the level layout compare to the original? It looks about the same. I mean, actually, if you look on the map, um, it seems like they kept true to some of the areas, but it, they made some additions and some tweaks, obviously to accommodate for the new third-person angle. Herbs. Safe work, kids. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Who's there? These symbols all around clearly need a key that's shaped like that. For stream, yes, this is the PC version. And it's available on PC, which is why we're playing it. I can put a board up there. I know it could be running, but I like taking my time here. Hey! This isn't your place. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Alright, let's uh, walk away. Just walk away. Close the door. Hopefully zombies are smart enough to open doors. They are, that's a problem. Lore. Time for some lore. Snapping under intense stress. David Ford. Disarray, that's a good word to describe Resident Evil situations. Let's try to open the door. Hey! No! This is not your place. Stay back. I'm saving ammo, you hear me? See you. I'll have to run to the zombie again. How are you so calm? Like, I'm not breathing right now. I get experience. I've played a lot of these Resident Evils. So. Especially when all the weird stuff starts happening. Because trust me, it's a Resident Evil game. Weird stuff will start to happen. Look at that guy. See, I shot him three times in the head, and he's still alive. So we'll just leave him. Um. Went to this room? Yes. Alright. Close that up. Uh, do I have a key for that? No. no. Storage locker. No. Spare keys. Fix this right now. Hey, language, buddy. Everyone up in their mama bee's room. That's true. It just came out today. See, there's a shotgun. And some ammo, I believe. Yeah. That would be really useful right about now. Uh, no, the, the army of zombies are just chilling outside. All right, so we got one. Is the other one going the other way? All right, don't go the other way. Come on. Let me try to funnel them this way. Calm down. Calm down. Bastard. All right. There's the other one. All right, come on down. Come on down to the hallway. Come on. And juke. A lot of juking in this series. All right. Stay, about, stay in that room. All right, stay in the shotgun room. Please and thank you. Alright, I know that door's locked, so let's go check this door. Hmm. Gunpowder. Let me craft that with other gunpowder. Pieces of gunpowder. 
I just uh, two gunpowder equals ten gun. Gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder is acid rounds. The submachine gun is high grade. Cool. How to use gunpowder? Gonna combine. Again, for those of you unfamiliar with the combining mechanics, there is crafting mechanics in Resident Evil. You can combine uh, objects. All right, don't come to life, buddy. I'm just investigating. He'll probably come to life. Oh, it's a combination, so I need to find the code to unlock that. It's a very common trope in Resident Evil. Gotta find the key code and then go back to the locker or the safe. Or we keep re reading messages. Uh, da, 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 da. I read really fast, so I apologize for those of you trying to read the lore. The zombies not breaking doors will help avoiding zombies. Yeah. See, there's some roaming out there. Some of them. Hey! Right, Claire, tell him, Claire, tell him, Claire. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, blah, blah, blah. Your mission is to lock your desk. Initials of our first names. There are two locks, one on each side. Okay. Oof. Okay. So the puzzle here, the key is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in the order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side. Make sure you get them both. Okay. So what are these guys' names? I don't know. So Branagh, that's his last name. Okay. There's two locks and a zombie broke in. Okay, buddy, I need to do this puzzle. You're getting in the way here. I don't appreciate that. Get out of here. Okay. David. Elliot. Hey, 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 hey. I said stop. Oh no. And then still the other one. So. Is he alive too? Okay, okay. Now things are getting interesting. Okay, so we have Neil, Elliot. All right, you need to calm down, sir. Okay, I'm trying to unlock this desk for Leon. You guys are interrupting my little puzzle here. Hell is up with you. Yep, I agree. All right, let's uh, let's come back to this puzzle. We can this guy's great. What happened to the other zombie? Is he still here? Yep, I still hear someone. Getting a little tense here. Tense. Uh, he's in there somewhere. What really makes this game is a noise. I'm glad I got the audio up. Because it's spooky. I'm sure, those of you watching at home. Uh... Alright, there you go. Because you're listening to my voice, but I'm he hearing the game audio right now. Oof. Alright, so I'm holding out this green herb. Because I believe there's some red herb somewhere above. Someone over here? Yep. Dude, this guy is extremely determined. Get out of here. Yeah, he's going to probably come back to life soon. We got a little bit of time. Yeah. Oh, that's ammo. Yes, please. Thank you. Is there a zombie in here? Nope, okay, good. Gunpowder. Yes, please, thank you. Okay. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, combining materials is definitely a good idea to uh, manage what's going on in this game. Be fun in VR. Oof. I, I want to play Resident Evil 7 VR. Unfortunately, not out on PC, but on it's out on PlayStation. So you can play the full Resident Evil 7 in VR. Uh, humans, blah, 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 blah. green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue her herbs have been used to treat poisoning. So in this game, you get poison. As for red herbs, you're visually appealing, but have no medical benefits. But you combine red and green, you can heal yourself. Blue and red will strengthen one's constitution. It's constitution. That's a strange word to use there. All right. Blend herbs. Make stuff happen. What oh, cool. All right. This is a save room. Awesome. So I think someone mentioned that there's a picture, this picture in the dark room. If you could see it right here, that's actually a picture that was used in Resident Evil 1 as a reference. I think these pictures also represent other things too, but that's the Easter egg I know about. This isn't the content I follow for. I'm sorry. Live build on Wednesday. Red herb. Next herb. All right, so that's useful. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Red herb. Okay, 
this is a safe room because you know it's a safe room because two things there's a typewriter for saving and there's a container for storing let's go ahead and store that green that there save that for later see micromanagement gotta master it all right back to the spooks actually i should probably save Again, if this was the hardcore difficulty, I have to be more selective about my saving. Let's see, it's two saves. I like how the game makes you feel bad for saving. Like, oh, you loser. This is what you get for saving. We can solve this puzzle. Again. Oh, hey, how's it going? Not you. Sorry, bye. And you're still here, too. I think I can solve the puzzle. Okay, so N, E, and D. Ned. That's it. Okay, that's it. All right. Boom. All right. Next one. All right. First, I want you to get over here. Thank you very much. Jesus. Marvin. Rita. Seriously. What's your name? Shoot. All right, so mystery R N. R. Wait, mystery R. Rita, oh, cancel. What's the other one? Marvin. Okay, hold on. I mean, it's the other way around. So Marvin, Rita. Oh, Chad, give me a letter. It's one of these letters. I don't know. Maybe you guys already know. How much ammo do you have? Not much. The original Resident Evil have its limit on how much you can stack items. I think it, I'm pretty sure it did. You can correct me. I haven't played the first game. So, it's on my backlog. Give me a letter. Don't give me the... Just take a guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Chat, any help? No? Maybe? H. Are you right? Are you wrong? Eh. Wrong. Hey. Honestly, I can brute force this by going through all of them. Uh, F. Nope. G? Ah, it was G. Again. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, let's uh, do a ring around the rosy. Is a classic Resident Evil strategy. It doesn't quite work when they both go both ways. Okay. Okay. And no, no, no. Okay. All right. Maybe. Come on. I'm outside. I could just chilling there. Hey. Oh. Yeah. 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 Stay back. Oh, yep. so there's a knife. You stab him, and then you need to kill him to get the knife. Oh. Ow! Not appreciate that. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna destroy it here. Stay back, demons! All right. Knife back. All right, hold. Please hold. There's not feeling too good right now. Nice headshots. I'm trying. Son of a bitch. All right, give me my knife. Thank you. Gray. She's having a rough day. That is true. So custom part for the SLS 60. Combine. It reloads faster. Hooray. That, that would have been useful two seconds ago. All right. Poor Claire's not feeling so good. So I'll give her some herb. Fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> it says fine. So right there, um, I'm I just missed the how it said when you're red, but it says fine. So you're fine. Everything is fine. This is this is fine. This is fine. Extremely fine. All right, let's continue investigating. And another locked door with the spade. All right. At least I got the speed loader. We load really quickly now. And I got some 2Z zombies, but the thing is their heads aren't burst, so they could come back to life. Ooh. Smacking them and running still a great option. It's true. You're completely right. And actually, I could switch. Actually, let me equip the knife and inventory slot just to be sure. Actually, can I not use the knife as a... Um, no, I believe the... Yes, yeah, right. The knife can only be used for um, getting away from the zombies. It's not like the slashing in the previous game. This is the PC rate. This is the PC version of the game. Now, there's a key that I must have missed. I think that's right. It's upstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah keep rocking that door. Hello. Oy. If you're scared of zombies, it's probably not for you. Guess you need. Yeah, you need something like that. Uh. Lock. Is zombie in here? Yep, there's zombie. <laughs> you live? Nah, I'm not gonna waste a bullet. Portable safe. And then jump scare coming. Okay. Assuming there's a combination here, it's gotta be related to this note next door. Portable save instructions. Press the button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the safe. Buttons must be pressed in your order. Press them really well. Okay. That's how we do it. Um. That. Flame rounds. Let's investigate the portable safe. Okay. Okay, hold on. So you have to hit in the right order. Okay, I see. Okay. So this one, this one, nope. This one, th wait, wait, why are you changing the combination on me? Okay, so that's that one, that's that one, that's that one, that's this one. Okay. Gosh. The one, two, three, four. Nope, that's that one. What's this one? That's that one. Okay. No. One, two. Sorry, guys. I'm going to decode this because I got this. That's that one. What are these two again? More puzzles, yeah, I know. I got this. Boom! I like a little sound. A song. What? <laughs> what is this? Key item. A small part of some sort. That was just so, like, unexciting. <laughs> that was extremely anticlimactic. Like, oh man, is it a herb? Is it something? Nope, it, it's it's nothing. That was a herb. All right. Hard for something. Oh, that's right. You're there. I totally forgot that. All right, come on down the stairs. Come on down. All right, we have leg physics. No, we don't. Okay. No, plus he probably doesn't feel it anyways. Are there just Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, no. All right. Stay back and do you mean... Take that. 
This is already a little bit different from the demo. It's cool. Oh, there's a person around the corner. Ah. Uh, the mannequin. Ah, a key. Now I can unlock doors that I could not access before. Fun fact, I saw this in, on YouTube. These mannequins are actually replications of the mannequins in Resident Evil 7. Fun fact. In the attic. So if you remember in uh, the attic portion of the first house. Oh, was that? 90. I probably should get the shotgun. Probably. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this so far. Because again, if someone has played the previous Resident Evil games, it's definitely enjoyable. Oh man, inventory's full. I gotta clean up. Is that gunpowder? Yeah, see, I gotta clean up. Please hold. Where's an inventory box? Your boy needs an inventory box. I'm gonna go all the way back. Backtrack. Backtrack. I've been live for one hour. Water would be cool, but I'm good. Oh, come on. You came all the way up here to say hi? Okay. And you're standing perfectly. Boom, baby. All right. Really now, calm down, buddy. What do I not need? I do not need that for later. I don't need that for later. I can probably combine this to that. What happens to me is that eventually near the end of the game, I'm gonna have 20 first aid sprays. Because I mainly use herbs for healing in this game. So. And again, if you guys you want to see some PC stuff, such as the graphics settings, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to show off some of the graphical settings in this game. Hold on. Let me double check here. I want to make sure. I know there's some stuff up there that I left behind. All right. Operations room. There's a map there. Oh, I forgot to put the map in the operations room. It kind of locks out there though, because I that as you see there, I forgot to do that. But I did get the, the key, so I should be able to get out. Uh, how? That's the question. West office. There's something of interest there. There's two things of interest in the safe delete deposit room, and then dark room. There's another thing of interest. That's what the exclamation point means. I'm assuming. So. Search completed. Currently searching. Okay. And I have, I can't unlock that with that key. So, keep on moving with that gunpowder. Probably should have got the shotgun, but whatever. Protein! <laughs> Is he still alive? No. Shit. Yeah. I'll oh, stay back. There's another lock. I wonder how we can unlock this one. And uh, you know what the password is? Bam. That's no, not. There's maybe there's even hints as to uh, how to unlock that. Yeah, they really nailed the the spooky horror. They made zombies terrifying, again, which is pretty cool. The hell is up with I know you? with the uh, in Resident Evil 4, they really they weren't zombies or the ganados or whatever. What's this? Many survivors. Liquors. Thanks, David. 
that means we're gonna meet the liquor soon. So for those of you unfamiliar with those, those guys have very long tongues and they, they, they like to lick. And they very mean way. Probably a smart idea not to fight them. Tip to add squares. Tip to be square. All right. Da, 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 da. That made it. Yeah, that guy's crazy. Load it up. What is the game? This is Resident Evil 2. It just came out today. Available on PC and the consoles. But we're playing on the PC, of course. Claire, it's Marvin. This How fast puzzling. can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. No. <laughs> Trying to be slicking and yeah, nah, just cut the pen out. And the noises these guys make are just not appealing at all, which is perfect because zombies aren't appealing at all. Combat knife? Oh, cool. I got a collection now. Still alive? Okay, we're dead. Okay. Is this a medallion? Oh, that's right. I need to do the password. Okay, so you. Oh, come on. I'm trying to. Wait, didn't I shoot you earlier? <laughs> Officer's notebook. Okay. This is the unicorn. I can't tell what fish, scorpion, elephant. Fish, scorpion. Is that an elephant? No, uh, maybe lion? No. Person? No. Hey, this is I'm just brute forcing this now. Wait a second, hold on. Fish, scorpion, elephant. Or that's not elephant. Anyway, this is a unicorn. Unicorn. Fish, scorpion, what water. Okay, that's water. It's the unconditional love for Lewis that motivates the zombies to be that for him, of course. Hey, 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 hey. Who's behind that door? More zombies. There's a giant hole in that guy's face. Okay. No. Are you new? There you go. Try this again. Water. Answer is water. Bingo. Thank you. Done in my storage pack. Upper floor is map. Yay. 
I guess I am in the upper floors? No. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, yeah, one up the stairs. Oh, yeah, I was just there. Cool. Oh, I can't go through there. Gunpowder. Take that. Give me a PC to start streaming. I want a PC. To start <laughs> ah, everyone came back to life. Okay, that was good. Alright. You fools. That was a spook. I mean, I knew I shot them down, but that was a, that was a legit spook. Alright, can you hop? No, you can't jump like Leon in Resident Evil 4, so. Okay, who did. Gosh, these guys are so persistent. Okay. So, what I need to do is move this over or move these things over so I can make the walk I see. Okay. Okay, hey, you. How about you come up the stairs? Come on up, fool. Oh, like, they, they just keep coming. Okay, up, up, up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. This is where you win the lottery, guys, up here. Here, PC, this way. Come on. No, no one's PC. Okay. There you go. Come on. Come on. No. Go up the stairs. Good. Good zombies. Very good. Come on, keep going. Because you can see the strat here, just to keep them going all the way up, and then I'm gonna go to them down there and trick them. Big juke. I'm pretty sure they can jump down, but you know, zombies are not pets in this game. I'm making them my pets right now. Are right, good. I'm assuming they can jump down. So, yeah, it gives me some time. Oh, I need the tools to open that. Okay, can I move this? Let's hold. Perfect. Hey, hey. Dang it. Right, do we have to? No. The question is if Eric can jump. Are they back? Oh, they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. After all of that, you guys went all the way up the stairs just to get little old me. Looks like I see what he needs to do. Okay. Up. Nope. Up. How long are we playing for? Until it's about, I want to say, 40 more minutes. And that's a wrap. So it's can clear, clear. Big question. Can you jump? No. You can't. That's what I was worried about. The thing is, zombies cannot climb ladders. That's right. They're too dumb. But they can't climb stairs. So I need to get a tool to fix that. I like how the chill's starting in the corner. You dummies. Don't delusion. That's the thing. You gotta juke him, man. You gotta trick him. Tricks. Exit. Ah, this is the right way to go. And I have the key. Oh, yeah, what's this? Red book. That seems important. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. I got the key to get out of here. Watch if I encounter a liquor. Aha! Suckers. And that's how you juke. And you do some melee action. So, I was trying to figure that out. I don't think you can use the knife to, um, to melee them. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it! You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? rookie thought he looked familiar you can make it to that courtyard on the second floor east side okay thanks marvin i'm on it that mm. they randomly turn to super zombies and they leave now don't go saying things like that because they do that in resident evil uh in six five and seven they definitely i think four there's no super zombies but they know how to climb well again there's no zombies in four um but they do know how to climb ladders and shoot guns yeah unicorn oh okay hey you unlock one thing right yeah but we're not out of here yet there is a secret tunnel under the statue 
of justice. This is the RPD. All right, time to do some micromanagement. What do we got? Old book, which is a key item, but I'm not sure what the old book is for. Let's investigate it first. A piece of plastic shaped like a book. It was held by a hand. It's a this is a puzzle piece. Unfortunately, I cannot get that officer one of the laptops. Sorry. But I will store the book. Inventory. We'll get the extra knife for that. Key I'll need. That I'll need. I'll keep the gunpowder. That's more ammo than the other gunpowder. And we're off. And to save. Cool. Well, let me do a quick recheck of what I missed. I know there's a map in the operations room with the person. I need to pick up the map. Lockers, the dark room sink. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Library, the storage room. Oh, see, there's the gunpowder that I missed. I like this. The, the map uh, tells you where all the stuff is that missed is or where it's at. It's useful. Uh, da, 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 da. I just stuff a bunch of missed it. Vial lock. Jack. Who's Jack? Oh, yeah, that's a dead body. Fine statue. Oh! I'm a dumb. There's a statue. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm a noob. I'm a dummy. Alright, lion statue. Lion, plant, bird, or phoenix. Lion, lion, plant, bird, or phoenix. Bingo! Because it said lion, I'm like, oh, that's right, there's a lion in that room. This game is outstanding. Thoughts? I, I think it's, you know, it looks great, especially on PC. Um, I'm glad that Capcom took the time to release an awesome PC version of the game. I haven't encountered any bugs yet. Everything's been going pretty pretty good. Does the demo portion take place later in the game or are you able to choose a character? So the demo portion, I'm playing the demo portion to some extent. Um again the demo is like a short little bit, but it is the police station. So this is the first part of the game. Because you have to get all the medallions, unlock this thing, and then you're off. In the next part of the game, fight a monster at some point. So, there you go. I mean, any more thoughts on the game I could probably give? Um, again, it plays... It's cool that you can actually move and shoot, just like in Resident Evil 6 and 5, you can't. It's 5 and 4, it's the game. Stand still, you can walk and stop. Walk and stop. But if you move and shoot, you'll see the reticule actually gets uh, pretty wide. Unless you walk forward and you just keep holding onto it, and then, you know, there's got it. But... When you're not doing it and you just, you know, you have from the hip, then it's, uh, aims off. So, you gotta be careful of those shots, man. You gotta make them count. Because, look, I got, what, 19 rounds? So, I don't know why I'm walking down this way because I know there's nothing here unless I can unlock this door. Nope. Oh, I can. Oh, hey, what do you know? Is that anyone? Nah. Another safe. Hmm. That computer, that needs an upgrade. <laughs> Pharmaceutical Giant Umbrella Corporation. The police station. Orphanage. Turns a museum <laughs> into a police station. Uh, let's see these guys. I probably should get the shotgun. I really should get the shotgun. I have a feeling the liquors are coming up. I gotta come prepared. I can't just come in without the shotgun. Time to backtrack everyone's favorite activity. Deal with more zombies. 
my 19 rounds. Again, if you guys have any questions about the game, I will do my best to answer them. Jump scare incoming. Uh -huh. See, I had a gut feeling about that, huh? I thinking, I guess if you play, have you ran into problems with game graphics or gameplay? Nope. Nope. I will say, if you push the settings to the max, actually, that's a good question. Um, so Capcom was nice enough to let you push a lot of things to the max. So like image quality can actually increase the resolution scaling. So that makes it look even more high res than normal. Um, we're playing at 1080p, but you can actually increase that. And you'll see it even tells you how much of your uh, GPU you're using. So we're using about 8 gig or 6.76, 7.6. There's a whole bunch of settings and it's running super smooth. We're playing on a 1080 Ti. Again, I really, I really, 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 really like the graphic settings in this game. I like it when games give you a lot of opportunities to make tweaks. It helps a lot of people. I mean, it helps people both on both sides of the PC, you know, arena. I don't even place a board there. <laughs> um, so if you have a low-end PC, you can, you know, do some tweaks and you can probably play the game. But again, you got to pay attention to the recommend settings and the minimum setting do the tweaks from there. I wonder if the zombie's still here from last time. Pretty sure it is. Knock, knock. Oh, yeah, you are. All right, that's it. Time to tango. I came here to fight. Hell is up with you. Yeah. Takes about three shots to stop them, but no. Oh, see? Yeah, it does take a lot of M to kill them. And you're extremely determined. Oh, I listed that. Damn it. Oh my gosh, I'm wait I'm just throwing bullets away right now. They do not get up. There's a map. There's supposed to be a map here. One thing I also do like is they really took what they learned from Resident Evil 7 and applied it to this game, too. I don't have the key for that. I need to have, I'm guessing, like a bolt for it better or something. Wasn't there something here? Map. There it is. Yeah, that's what I came for. There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Records room. I don't have access to that yet. There's a whole bunch of stuff actually back here I didn't really access. Well, the fire escape, the east office, but those doors are locked. Then stuff back there, but it looks like you have to go to the upper floor to access that. And there's ammo back there. I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, come on. This is the 10 bullet zombie. That's your new name. Come on, stand up so I can shoot you. Hell is up with you. Preach to the choir, Claire. Preach to the choir. So all those bullets I just wasted on this thing are a little bullet sink. It's best to send them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The problem is that, that zombie was like in the way. So I had to shoot her enough to not get in the range. I mean, I do have the knife, so I could probably do the knife strat. Got more. At least I got the ammo that I lost, so I made out with more ammo. But whatever. Yeah, sexy can I mean, that's the thing. Like, I have the knife here, right? But the thing is, the knife is designed to stab the zombie and then push them away. So if they get close to you, that's like your counter move, essentially. I could have sworn you could have equipped the knife too. Um. Because it shows equipped, but I'm, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So maybe it will shift or... Oh, there you go. That's my bad. So you got to pull out the knife like that and then you flash. Okay. There we go. I'm dumb. My bad. 
at that. So on my settings, if you hold on to m one of the mouse buttons, you can slash with it. Yeah. Says E. Yeah. On the boom boom. All right. Jojo. Oh, <laughs> see, that's how he plays Jojo. Uh -huh, Jojo. Anyways, what was this guy's name? Wasn't it G? Yeah, I unlocked it anyways. Yeah, this is where I got the speed loader for Leon's desk. And there's a safe back there, but I'm not entirely sure how to unlock it. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. where did you go? Oh, shoot. That's right. I forgot. Totally forgot about that guy. I can unlock that. Jump scare incoming. I'm, I'm, I, I honestly don't know. That was a joke. Okay, what do we got here? Oh. Oh. I did not know that. Huh. How far are you planning to go on the stream? I am planning to go up until 6 o'clock. Our time. Eastern Standard. So 40 more minutes. I don't know if this is in play because I've been running with... Ah, yeah, yeah, I've been running from zombies. I'm just trying to get all this stuff here. Get my bearings. All right, let's see. There's an ammo box over there in the shower room thing. I missed that. Um, and I avoided the liquor area because I have this much ammo. But you know what? Screw it. Discard. I don't need to discard anything. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually. I'm going to do a quick break. Give me one second. Promo. So next Wednesday, we're going to be streaming a live build. Again, hey, live build. Um, It's for Tally. So if you missed the Burke Black live build, we do have a live build coming up that you can actually watch live here on Twitch, or actually in Twitch Mixer, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, all the platforms. So feel free to check that out on Wednesday. And we also have a game bundle happening with Battlefield V and Anthem. I know Anthem's having a bunch of issues today with the VIP demo. Hopefully they get that ironed out. Um, but for a limited time, if you get any RTX VPs, you can get Battlefield V and or Anthem. You can check that out at originpc.com. Anyways, back to the game. Whew. All right. Back to the liquor. I know I'm going to see this liquor. And I know the game said not to go in guns blazing and just kind of walk past it. But that's the thing with enemies that are based on um, sound. It's just, you know, it makes you nervous. And then when you screw up, they go after you. And, ugh. I say to that. I know it's coming, man. That no good. Hey, Claire, it's Leon. my boy. I'll be right there. Huh? gotta stop meeting like this are you all right the police chopper it just came out of nowhere yeah i'm fine i turn you don't have yet. a key no i don't it's good to see your face though how are you holding up hey i'm hanging in there hell of a night huh yeah you find your brother i did actually he's <laughs> You should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon. 
Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. Go, Leon. Both of us. The zombie. Marvin, this is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. So let's do wooden boards together. No. Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Marvin, no. Oh. Good news is I got the bolt cutters. Bad news is I got those stupid boards and I can't really put them. In. Can I go back to the way I came so I can drop off some stuff? Leon is my favorite Ari character who's here. Leon's up there. Uh, I definitely like Leon. Oh, hi. Whoa. Chill out there, buddy. Yeah, Leon's pretty cool. Maybe there's a window or something. I know I got to go back and grab the bolt cutters. It looks like yeah, I need to get something like that. And there's one of those boards. You're on fire. I'm going to juice you. See you. Arvin. My boy. I'm dropping off. The reason I'm going back, by the way, is to drop off uh, some herbs. Marvin, no. Alright. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I do need that. I'm going to put that other board away. So now my inventory is going to be total hoarding. 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 So much hoarding. Ninja shirt. Hell yeah. Yeah. I know Trent's busy, busy with his uh, movie soundtracks. Hopefully I would get more music. I know we got the three out albums, but, you know, got to get a full one. I know he's touring too. They're all touring right now. All right, back to the fire zombie. I need to get my bolt cutters. Get out of the way, punks. Hello. <laughs> Just casually walk by the flaming zombies. Hey, what if you guys come outside? Maybe you can not be on fire. Like, that's actually a good idea. Hey. Come on out. Out. Yeah, come on. No. Nope. Out. Set the fire. Come on. Come on. Fine. They don't want to go out in the rain. They don't want to come play. You listen to them a lot? Yeah, I have them. Uh, I listen to them every time and then. There's just a lot of music to listen to, but yeah. I've listened to pretty much the main albums. I know there's a lot of um, EPs and whatnot, but the main albums for sure. All right, let's break some things. Does it feel like a previous Resident Evil game or totally something new? So it does have some elements of the previous games, especially for um, 4, 5, and uh, 6 with the over-the-shoulder camera. The inventory reminds me more of 7. The graphics, of course, remind me more of seven. Um, so, oh, this is where we're at. Okay, cool. Um, but definitely reminds of the previous games for sure. And these bolt cutters definitely open up a whole bunch of opportunities. Oh wait, was I here before? No, this is new. Hey. Stop that. I forgot to pick up the wood. Shoot. Do you have any wood? No, not you. We have more ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Okay. You. Oh, cool flash grenade. Those are always useful. Perfect.
sorry I have a hard bargain, but if I just get a sub if you return, I will like a minimum of five evil laptops. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. I think it's shooting with shooty time right now. Um. Oh no, they're gonna pincer me. Whatever shall I do? Alright, what's in here? That's useful. Man, I'm getting like all these tools. High grade gunpowder. So I'll save that. I can go out to the lobby. Yeah. Alright, calm down. I see the knife's useful in that area. I'm gonna shoot some holes. You! Stop. Stop. What the hell is up with you? And one thing, again, I keep saying it over and over, but the detail they've gone into these zombies is above and beyond. And all these useful things. Not enough space. Um, can I come back here? I can move this one out of the way. I just use the electrical part to open the door. Okay. You guys need to chill. Um, can I drop this? Oh, man. Just, what can what brings me no joy here? Oh, I'm, an, I'm dumb. I should combine them. Okay. See you. Are you subscribed to PewDiePie? I already put in my effort a long time ago, buddy. Come on. Use. Hooray. More unlocking doors. That's always the Resident Evil thing is unlock doors and, you know, get stuff together. I can't wait to see the speedrunners tackle this. Which of the games would you say you enjoyed the most? I gotta go with 4. 4 was just a game changer. Actually, honestly, uh, that was the reason I rebought the GameCube. Because back then, my original launch GameCube broke. So I was like, oh man, I really want to play Resident Evil 4. So I saved up all my money, and I put the money down. I got Resident Evil 4, I got the GameCube, and spent. I probably beat that game at least 3 times. Or more. Alright, so what to put away? I don't need that. A lot of ammo, but a lot of these things. I'm gonna keep the key. Um. Hmm. I don't know. This just seems like a bad idea to have something open like this. I feel like zombies could just totally go into the save room area. See this guy? I don't trust him. Oh, and they're up and running. Of course. I wouldn't be up and running. Ah, right, come on. What am I doing? Here? I need a river nice over here. What is the plan? There's a herb in the corner. Fire escape. I need to go well, upstairs. Because the helicopter crashed. I feel like I'm just going around. Origin PCCO. No. What's up, Kevin? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's in Okay, see, he brings a new... That's new. He just altered my rerun the Rosie strap, buddy. He just changed the game. This guy is still there. He's still there. Are my fire zombies still there? Fire zombies. Yep, they're still there. Oh man, I gotta give credit to Capcom. They really. So the thing is, like the zombies just don't like stay dead. They're just chilling. Unless you bust up your head. Stay back, demon. Oh. Oh, that, so the flashbang. I'm looking at chat. Okay, so. Yeah. That's interesting. So you don't use the knife on these zombies. You use okay. You need to stay back. Okay. 
fact they're still on fire just bothers me. I know I'm wasting ammo. But whatever, man. Yeah, Res Resident Evil 2 was on the PS1 when it originally launched. Wait, what do you mean I can't use it? Mm. I need to combine it with something else. Yeah, see, you need, the, you need the lever. Dang it. This game is the opposite of Doom. Super slow and limited ammo. Of course, I know, right? Oh, now there's two of them. Okay. Seriously? All right. Juke, 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 juke. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Is there a door here? Oh, cool. This looks dangerous. I don't know why. This room gives me a bad vibe. That's what I want. Now I can get the shotgun. Hallelujah, y'all. I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this room. I don't know why. Hmm. Looks important. But I'm probably going to go grab the shotgun. And reorganize. I have to put the satchel in or the arm. Uh, I guess he has to carry something. Hmm. hmm. Something's gonna get you from the skylight. Yeah, look, it looks perfect, right? Something you just come straight down, like. <sighs> Fire zombies, please. It does remind me of Resident Evil 7 and the fact that, you know, in Resident Evil 7, for those of you that actually played it, um, the Baker family, like, tend, tended to, like, roam the halls. So every time you, like, did damage to them, they would just disappear. The book, the red book, they'd be like, aha! Yeah. Thank you. I put it into inventory hell. <laughs> Good call. Thank you. I totally forgot about the art object. And there's also that spare part, too. Wait a second. Hold on. What if that spare part binds? No, I can't combine. Put back in order. But I can definitely put the book on that uh, statue. Good call, man. Yeah, I probably would have missed that. Thank you. I'm a dumb dum Alright, so I'm going to put that in storage. Put that in storage. Cut the knife for a little bit. One more stab, and that's it for that. Book. Store the green herb. Actually, I'm going to go use that key card, too. So, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go get the shotgun. Good call. These things just don't stay dead. Do you shoot them? Okay, come on. Look. You shoot them in the head multiple times, and the only way they stay dead is unless you use the like a super weapon and shoot them multiple times. What? Oh, this is to unlock those doors. Okay. Oh, cool. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in here. Nice. Probably worth looking into. I'm gonna get the shotgun. This is on needed. Oh, that's a grenade launcher. Wrong. This grenade launcher is capable of firing a flame and SRC. See, they tricked me because in the demo, it's a shotgun. Tricks. Or maybe in the Leon version, it's a shock. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, that's useful. Let's go three. Hmm. 
Remember those spare parts? That's what this is for. I wonder if you can press the buttons, though. You? Oh, wow. So you do need the spare parts to unlock these. Hmm. And that 203 is really, like, the one that's speaking to me right now because extra inventory space is useful. Hmm. Recently went on a binge and played 4 through 7 to get ready for our Oh, man, you, you're ready. You were born ready right there. I, ho I hope you enjoy it. I'm enjoying it right now. All right. Back through this room. Is this guy still here? Where do you go? Oh, she's hiding in the book. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let me get that spare part. So it looks like you need two of them. Let's go check on poor Marvin. My boy. Okay. I gotta hurry. So it looks like I need another one. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Maybe I could use that wheel in the bathroom. I'm going to give that a shot, too. I'm going to put the book away. Thank you for letting me about the book. But I'll put that away because I'm going to deal with the left part of the police station and exploring. Or am I taking the book? No, no, no. Um, Cutting tool. Cool. And my status is caution. I like the statuses. Yeah, two is probably a good one. Because all these are 102, 103, so I can get the gunpowder. Knife, I don't really need. 106 is a battery? No. Ammo. I can get some ammo. I know, Claire, I know. Just hang in there. One, two. Knife! Anything else I can get, especially since I just put in the two. Four rounds. Might as well get more grenade rounds. Two, eight. another spare part and I expand my storage space and I can probably get that that looks like film oh I need that later and that looks like a batter that looks like the film itself huh do I have any space in the storeroom no I got the bolt cutters and valve handle I'm working on locking some doors that's breaking down you're dead Yeah, see, this is a good area to put that uh, barricade. There's someone upstairs. Wait a second. What's this for? A button, it's a key card. Oh, it's a light. Peaceful music. The saver music. 
Save your progress here. Um, I'm assuming there's objects you can use the the dark room in for. Probably a photo or a code. All right, I'll come back later. Oh! <laughs> you tell me. Shit! Yes, I was correct. Okay. So that's what that one was for. Perfect. Gunpowder. Uh oh. I see it. I'm not sure if you see it, chat, but it's there. Remember, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Could shoot it with a grenade launcher. I could just enter this room. Keys. I'm not going to take it. Oh, what is this place? What the? Uh, reckon, because Reckon said he got it. Combine with gunpowder to make acid rounds. Actually, acid rounds sounds like a good idea right about now in this point of the game. Yeah. Except for the grain launcher, actually, when the reorganize here. Do, 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 do. I don't know if it's just me, but I like organizing the categories for the weapons, like the different types of uh, weapons. Shoot the toy. I'll, 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 that's a good idea. Oh, okay. I'm guessing it's one of those uh, things that you, like the medallions in Resident Evil 5 and all that stuff. So how are we doing today? We're doing great. There's a uh, hanging in there right now. Dealing with zombies, but I'm doing great. And chat's having a good time too. Just exploring the police department. Made in heaven. Another flashbang for the collection. Doggo. Hopefully that's not a zombie doggo now. Please, no zombie doggo. I know they're probably in the game, but you know. Dongle. Tank center. <laughs> Tank center. Oh, look at that power button. It looks a little familiar, doesn't it? A little bit. A little bit. Hmm. That is a submachine gun. I hate how the games taunt you, man. They always do that all the time. They just they're just like, hey. There's a gun there. You need to unlock the door to get the gun. Gun. And then, of course, you have to backtrack and do all the stuff like I'm doing. 
Uh, hey, I got the grenade launcher, so that's all good. Battery. And of course I have no reason. Aha! Perfect. Nine, fifteen, seven. That's in the first floor. Okay, I know where that safe is. That's where the room with the um the janitor zombie. So cool. Battery here, come on back, use the catcher up here, come on back, and off I go. Oh shit. <laughs> Where'd it go? Right now I'm nervous. It's not there. Good. We're good. These noises are not helping the cause right now. I still look up. That's for the like chill up. I feel like now that I've unlocked the liquor, it can probably show up at any moment, but you know. Um. No, I didn't know the, I didn't know the I was just messing around. Ah. Look, pistol. Revolver, whatever. Just gotta load my guy tool there. Alright, let me check on the map. Okay, what do we got? Da, 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 the lounge. The library. Oh, I could probably access that from the library, but I don't have the thing to move the or the jack there so I can move it. Um, there's ammo down the hall. I can pick, pick that up. I missed a first aid spray. Mm. I'll be back to the office anyways. Shower room, dial lock. Was it Rip or Zorn? Zom. Pick up the ammo. Oh, you know I could use the grenade launcher. What? This You're still here? Go home. You bastard. Yeah. Take that. Jerk. Uh, we'll go with the uh, eek. <laughs> That's the password. That's the password. We'll leave that guy there. I like how I'm just running around like all freely and the liquor will just probably show up out of nowhere. Another liquor. Actually, do I have gunpowder? No, I'm stuffed. My inventory's stuffed. Oof. Oof. Hmm. Alright. I don't know how you guys feel about like creepy dolls. Like, that's pretty creepy doll. Why would that. Why would. A mu or remember, this was a museum, but still. Bonjour. Nobody likes you. Uh, that's it. All right, back to the library. My two best friends. Where are they at? Yeah. My boy. Shoot it as well. Oh, for real? Why not? Origin has any plans for France? Hmm. Nothing to announce yet. Nah. And then I get killed. This karma. What 
buenos días. Upstairs. Um, gather around. Let me tell you the story of the grenade launcher. Launcher. Can we play Metal Slug? Rocket launcher. You know, it's always a fun thing to do in the Resident Evil games is when you get the infinite rocket launcher or the infinite whatever gun and just breeze through the game. Just totally breeze through it. Like, you're scared in certain parts of the game. It's like, nope, infinite rocket launcher. Oh. oh, come on. Cheap shot, cheap shot. All right. Sorry, got in the herb. Cheap. Organization time. You've been alive for two hours. Two hours? Oh, wow. Time has really flown. Okay. Thanks. Stay hydrated, bot. I appreciate you. It's night already. Yeah, it's time to go home. Can you imagine someone monitored RT and the symbol was that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure people have done that before. I'm pretty sure. You can look it up. I know RE4 has a ton of mods. So. If you thought about it, there's probably mod for it. That's the way I like to say it. The beauty of PC gaming. Anyways. Um, I think that I'll go ahead and wrap it up now. But if you guys have any questions about the game before I close it, uh, feel free to shoot them over um, while I have the game up. Then I'll hop, hop over to our what's happening with Origin. Because trust me, there's a lot happening. So, shoot, friends, shoot. Shoot zombies. All right, do, 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 do. I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. I, need that. I can probably put this away. Um, keep those two. So many things. This is nothing, Nano Kid. If you saw my inventory at the end of Resident Evil 7, you just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Um, there's ready to go, but there's so many things to explore in the police station and escape out of here. But there's liquors and nasty things and probably ugly monsters below. So what can you do? What can you do? Um, all right, let me go ahead and save. All right. So, that was Resident Evil 2 on PC, and we were running it again at, with the GT, or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080, 1080 Ti. Um, just as an FYI, here's a graphics settings thing. I like showing off the graphics settings, so I'm, I'm really happy with what Capcom's done with this. They've come a long way. Uh, do, do, do. Lots of cool settings, and of course, we're running at a pretty high, as you can see over here, with all the, the bars and whatnot. We're not pushing to the max, because the game did get... I, I encountered some bugs earlier before the stream, um, so I prefer to reduce it just so we can get a smooth stream going, which is pretty smooth. So, good job. Capcom. Um, that's pretty much it there. All right. Let me just leave the game on and jump over to our promos before I sign off. So again, next Wednesday, we have a live build. So the next stream will not be a game. It will be a live build for Tally. And Tally will be joining us on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for those of you that were missing the PC or seeing a PC in person, feel free to tune in there. Got a lot of cool parts coming in. Uh, RTX cards, good old Intel CPUs, and a lot of cool stuff happening for that build. January is almost over. And you can always start your year off with a brand new PC, either a desktop or a new laptop. But if you get a desktop, it's actually $100 off every desktop. Pretty cool. And actually, the discount is applied after you put into the cart. 
You also get free US ground shipping too. I believe it's on everything. And of course, digital games such as Battlefield V, Anthem, a Fortnite bundle, which includes a skin, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for the Division 2 with an AMD CPU, Scum, and Star Trek pack. What else we got? So those laptops I just mentioned, you can check those out at originpc.com. They are super, super cool. So once you're done with the stream, actually, you can just go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, Evo 16S, Evo 17S, and the Eon 17X, they all feature next generation graphics. And we have more to say next week if you want to check our social channels. We'll probably be talking a lot about the laptops in the next uh, live stream. So be sure to catch that. And of course, those 144 hertz displays. Um, What else? What else? What else? I think... Yeah, and the Division 2 bundle, which I was just talking about earlier. So if you get any AMD Ryzen desktop processor, or actually not any, the 5 or the 7, um, you get Division 2 for launch, too. So if you order it now, you get your system, you get the code, um, it's added to your uh, Uplay account, and you'll have it ready to go. So uh, did it end? Not yet, but almost. Yeah, chat, you, uh, YouTube, you got it all together. Yeah, it's pretty much over for the most part. Um, And again, for those of you that are wondering... Again, just to close it out, the PewDiePie giveaway winner was already announced, and we confirmed with the winner. This is officially the winner. There's no more reaching out. Uh, LO, or at LOL767 via Twitter is officially the winner. So, congratulations. Um, That's it. We'll just leave uh, Claire in the police station, and I will be playing the game over the weekend. Um, again, if you guys have any questions about the game... Um, Shoot them over after or response for Twitter. We're pretty active on Twitter, so if you got any questions, just send them over there. Um, that's pretty much it. My name is Lewis, and our next stream will be on Wednesday. I hope you guys tune in and have a great weekend. See you.